I go to that point. After the uh, – Justice Alito? I, I don't know how much we can infer from the fact that we haven't seen – anything like this before and therefore conclude that we're never we're not going to see something in the future from the time of the impeachment of president johnson until the impeachment of president clinton uh more than a hundred years later there were no impeachments of presidents and in fairly short order over the last couple of decades we've had three so i, I don't know how much you can infer from that Certainly, but if this court affirms, this court can write an opinion that emphasizes how extraordinary insurrection against the Constitution is and how rare that is because it requires an assault not just on the application of law but on constitutionally mandated functions themselves. Like we saw on January 6th, a coordinated attempt to, to disrupt a function mandated by the 12th Amendment and essential to constitutional transfer. Well, let me ask you a question power. about whether the power that you've described as plenary really is – Plenary. Uh, suppose that the outcome of an election for president comes down to the vote of a single state, how the electors of the vote of a single state are going to vote. And suppose that uh, candidate A gets a majority of the votes in that state, but the legislature really doesn't like candidate A, thinks candidate A is an insurrectionist, so the legislature then passes a law ordering its electors to vote for the other candidate. Do you think the state has that power? I think there may be principles uh, that, that come into play in terms of after the people have voted that Congress, that the state can't change the rules midstream. I'm, I'm not sure because I'm not aware of this court addressing it. And certainly as... Well, let's change it so that it's not after the election. It's three days before the election based on the fact that the polls in that state look bad. Can they do it? I think they probably could under this court's decision in Chaffalo, where this court emphasized that for much of American history, state legislatures picked uh, their, their own electors and assigned their own electors themselves. But of course, that would be much more extraordinary than what we have here, which is simple application of normal state ballot access principles to say that we're only going to put on the ballot an individual who is qualified to assume the office. Could I ask you again the question that Justice Gorsuch asked? And you to which you responded by citing the de facto officer doctrine. But suppose we look at that going forward rather than judging uh, the validity of an act committed between the time when a president allegedly engages in an insurrection and the time when the president leaves office. During that interim period, would it be lawful for military commanders and other officers to disobey orders of the, uh, of the, the president in question? I'm not sure that anything gives military officers the authority to adjudicate effectively the, the, the legality of the presidency. 